is still ringing. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Clean sounds. Clean sounds from the ten ends. Turn um, down. Low. Everybody asks clean sounds, clean sounds, clean sounds, right? Well, there's a whole lot of videos with clean sounds. You got to look on on the YouTube thing and, and search them out. Um, the I'm talking about the beginning of the video, not the end, because obviously that wasn't clean. <laughs> <laughs> now that was earth shaking. <laughs> yeah, for me, clean sounds are. Um, make sure I'm in the camera, the way you're holding it. Yeah, you're totally in the camera. Right. Maybe stand back just yeah. a little bit. <clears throat> Okay, it's good. Clean sounds for me, the word is, is very misconstrued in a lot of ways these days. I mean, I watch videos and go, people go, well, here's the clean sound. It's got more gain than, than me driving the amp. I mean, everybody's got a different idea of what a clean sound is. The beginning of that video, these amps were at 9 o'clock even on the tones. Okay, tone and the volumes were even. The EQ switch was in the down position. Okay, and if I pop the Strat all the way up like that, it starts breaking into distortion, but down a little bit. It's very clean. Um, to me, uh, clean means clean, like where I was at the beginning, not so much, you know, when I would pull it open more. Um, so if I were to, um, you know, get, uh, that would be, let me make sure I have everything. Yeah, I don't have the Game Master on. Okay, so. <laughs> high end in my clean sound I like it warm like that if you want more I, I'm just gonna show you a little I'm just gonna wind the tone controls up a little bit on this pair of amps right and then from there I a lot of guys seem to have lost a lot of high end in their hearing I haven't so you'll very rarely see me doing this but to each his own but you know here all the way up on the guitar neck pickup <laughs> All that's in that camera is two little cheap mics. So Michelle, you might want to stand back just a little bit. I'm going to do that again with you standing back, maybe even a little bit more. Okay, I just want to make sure they can hear you talk. Try that. Get them. Okay. <laughs> Plenty more high end, of course, you know, it goes all the way up, but I'm just going to show you from here, right? I'm just going to kick the EQ switches in the up position there without changing everything, and, and now you're going to be even brighter, like, like a lot of guys like that. I'm not crazy about it, but. <laughs> Thank you. 
sounds without the camera distorting too badly. Hang with me for a second, Michelle. That one's still playing along. It's still playing along, so it wants to be played, right? <laughs> Whoops. That's a nice thing. Yeah, this is nice, huh? Check it out. It's a beauty. Look at Look that. that. You made that guitar, right? Yes, I did. <coughs> it's Brazilian. Check out the book match on this. Mmm, pretty. So this is a replica guitar? Yeah, of a 40s Martin. Man, it smells like wood, you know. you know. clean right not distorted at all <laughs> right Ooh, that's so pretty. check out the neck so you got the, the the figure in that mahogany mm -hmm. show the carving on the diamond that's pretty hard to do by hand you know to get that all carved in nice wave release inlays that's showing the light on it properly yeah I need to play this guitar more than I do. It's a good sounding guitar. So what were we discussing before you got a little sidetracked on your... One more thing I want to show you in this video. Oh yeah, the... Stanley Cup. The Stanley Cup finals. I'm always learning things, okay? I mean, over all the years, it's just, I'm learning that this is a noisy chord right here, too. That chord is noisy. I gotta fix that later. All right, but, um, you see these? It's a hockey puck, okay? It's just a regular hockey puck. I spend a good part of my life chasing one of these things around like some kind of rat in a cage. <laughs> and all these years later, um, I just realized the other day something fantastic for these. Without hitting the guitar that's right behind your foot, sort of back up. Okay, cabinet, right? All right? Listen to the top of that cabinet, okay? It's resonant, right? Okay, the sides, resonant. Well, the bottom's resonant too. Well, guess what? When it's sitting on a carpet, the carpet mutes the whole bottom of the cab. I know this is a simple little thing, but it's a tip, okay? Nonetheless, especially if you own my cabs, um, when you play on a hardwood floor, your cab sounds way more resonant and stuff. Well, it's because the bottom of your cab is resonating along with the top and the sides. But when you put it on the carpet, it's not. Even it's got little feet on it already? The yeah, because the feet aren't tall enough. Okay, so you, you know? set the feet on top of the hockey puck. Yeah, the feet just aren't tall enough in the car, and it's... It, the, and it's either touching or real close to the so carpet. It smushes down to the carpet. Yeah, yeah, because the weight, especially if you have a head on it, it, it's, it, it, it's it gets closer and closer to the carpet, right? Dollar seventy-five on Amazon, you get a bag of these. You get like seventeen dollars, gets you a, a dozen, dozen, of a dozen of them, and they're great. I'm gonna put them under my four twelves too when I get around to it. But it's it's just a hockey puck, right? Instead of chasing it around like a maniac on the ice like I used to do. It now well, makes my cabinet sound better. Well, <laughs> it's not frozen cow poo anymore, at least. No, and it, and it's a cool uh, because they're easy to carry with you. Just throw them in your in your junk bag of all your stuff, you know. Peace out. <laughs>